The tormenting of malefactors. Tormenting means to cause bodily pain, to pain to their body by sticking things into them or cutting them up or doing nasty things to their body so they hurt. Uh, the tormenting of malefactors. A malefactor is someone who's done bad things. So malefactors are brought from the prison. So here's our malefactor. You can see him here. He doesn't look too happy. And he's brought out of the prison. There are bars in the windows. Not an easy place to escape from. Um, and in the prison, tells, uh, the Comenius tells us, they are accustomed to be tortured, or they were, and in some parts of the world this still happens, by sergeants. Here's a, a sergeant. If you've ever been to the Tower of London and seen the beef eaters, well, they dress exactly like this because they are actually sergeants of the Tower of London, and this is their uniform. Um, and he's holding a pike, um, a halberd here, actually. It's got a very sharp axe part here, another sharp bit that sticks out, and a pike on the end of it. This is the weapon that's still carried by the sergeants of the Tower of London. And um, Anyway, the sergeant here is carrying the prisoner out, um, and he's leading him out, and his hands are tied behind his back. Or, the prisoner would be dragged on the ground behind a horse. Here's the horse, and here's the prisoner. He's tied around the ankles, being dragged across the ground to the place of execution. That's the place where he's going to be put to death. Thieves, here's number four, are hanged by a hangman from the gallows. This wooden frame here is called the gallows, and the man here is hanging from the gallows. Procurers are beheaded. Their heads are chopped off. And um, you can see the man here. Here he is. He's kneeling down. And here is the executioner with a great big sword in his hand. And he is going to whip the sword round and chop the procurer's head off. Murderers and robbers don't have it so easy I'm afraid or well, they didn't they were tied upon a wheel here's a wheel it's a great big wagon wheel the person will be tied onto it their hands tied onto this end the legs onto this end and using great big sticks they would be hit so their legs were broken or even worse they would be fastened onto a stake so they have a great big stake passed right through their body like this poor gentleman here who is tied on a stake. Um, or they could be tied to the stake as well. So sometimes they'd just be tied onto it and they'd hang there and that would be very, very painful. Witches um, are burned in a great fire. So here's a, this thing is called a pyre, P-Y-R-E, and here the poor witch is tied to a stake and she's being burned alive. This was done in England right through until, well, I don't know when the last witch burning was exactly. Um, I'll just find out. There, the wonders of the internet. 1727, the last witch was um, prosecuted in Scotland. And after that, um, no more witches in Great Britain were taken to court for being witches. Rather, they were taken to court for defrauding or cheating, because it was believed that they didn't know what they were doing, and so they were tricking people, and they'll be taken to court for doing that instead. So, there we are, a poor witch burned on the fire. And this was also done, of course, to heretics, that's people that the Catholic Church did not believe were proper believers. Um, for example, Giordano Bruno um, was burned at the stake for saying that there were stars, that means different suns, and that they have planets around them. And the church didn't agree with him on that, and they burned him alive. And Galileo, who was the first scientist and the first to see the moons of Jupiter, got very close to being punished in this way, but managed to get away with house arrest instead. Um, so there we have it. Some of them who are executed, um, also terrible things would happen. They would have their tongues cut out. This gentleman here, number 11, he's tied to this great big trunk here so that he can't wiggle away. And here is the tormentor, the, uh, the, the man carrying out the punishment with a very sharp knife in his hand. And he's cutting off the man's tongue. Not a very nice thing to have happen. Or other people, like this gentleman here, this is a block. This is called a block. And his hands are strapped down on the block because he's about to have his hand cut off because he's a thief. Or, even worse, 
they are burned with pincers and that's happening here see here these here are metal implements which are being he heated up there'd be a fire under here making this very very hot and then um, he would be burned those people that are put to death um, that's what happens to them but some people are punished and they're not put to death so some people are set up on a pillory like this here um, so everyone can see he's a bad person um, so he's stuck here on this platform just tied up and then people would walk past and throw things um, at the poor person who is tied to the post some people are strapidode now this is a very very unpleasant form of punishment the person would have their hands tied behind their backs like this to a rope and then you see this gentleman here he's pulling the man up onto the gallows here the man would be raised up and then suddenly he would be allowed to drop and then the rope would be caught around these poles and so he would stop very suddenly and jerk to a stop and this was extremely painful and they'll just keep lifting him up and dropping him several times and of course the person who had this happen to them usually would end up crippled for life um, their hands and arms would not work properly again after this and they'd be in pain for the rest of their lives this is called being strapidode and the other form of punishment that was like this would they be put up on a wooden horse and this also was uh, rather painful if you sat on it for a very long time the wooden horse was very painful because it had a triangular shaped body so the top of it was quite sharp and sometimes little bits of metal were stuck on the top as well and they would stick into your body and you'd sit on it and it would be extremely extremely painful um, sometimes the wooden horse had wheels and the person being punished would be dragged through town while he was sitting on it um, screaming in pain not a very nice punishment what would also sometimes happen um, would be that a person would have their ears cut off and you can see the man here he's cutting off this person's ears poor chap um, or uh, slightly less severe their clothes would be pulled off their back so the skin was exposed and they'd be whipped with rods and sometimes whipped very very hard until they started bleeding and sometimes to make it worse salt would be put onto their back as well while they were being whipped which was extremely painful and then after they've been punished they would be branded that means a red hot iron would be taken um, and that would have a some either a number on it or some kind of symbol on it and it would be burned onto their skin so that everybody who sees them would know that they'd been punished um, what would also happen sometimes to um, people being punished especially in Roman times would they be condemned to the galleys now the galleys were great big ships we saw a picture of a barge earlier along where the people were rowing the barge the Roman Navy and the ancient Greek Navy used um, prisoners to row their warships and you'd be chained to your bench in the warship and you would sit at your oar and that's where you sat chained to your oar for the rest of your life and that is because that's called being condemned to the galleys and sometimes if it was a person of royal blood these things wouldn't be done but even royalty sometimes were punished in, in these horrific terrible ways um, there would be perpetual imprisonment you'd be put in prison forever and ever for example in, in England some of the princes um, who you read about in history were locked up in the Tower of London and that's where they stayed until they died and what would also happen sometimes is that traitors that's people who had committed crimes against the king would be pulled in pieces by four horses so you see this man here being pulled by one horse if you could imagine four horses one tied to one leg one tied to the other one tied to each arm and the horses go off in different directions and are whipped then the poor person would be torn in pieces um, and if they didn't actually die from this well their joints would be pulled out of their sockets and they would then die very very slowly um, and in England we had a particular form of torture called being hung drawn and quartered which means that you'd be hung 
either from the gallows or strapidode like this, so it'd be very painful. Um, then you'd be cut open, which is called being drawn, and then you'd be courted, which means you'd be pulled apart by four horses. And that was an extremely terrible form of punishment.